Now, uh, we are here for one purpose. We want to make sure more young people have the chance to earn a higher education. We all have to step up because make no mistake about it, these kids are smart. Too many of them are falling through the cracks. We've got philanthropists and business leaders here. We've got leaders of innovative non-for-profits. We've got college presidents. Our board of trustees made the decision a few years ago that as an investment in academic excellence, as a signature investment in academic excellence, we would dramatically increase need-based financial aid and phase out the so-called merit approach to aid. And with that budget, we then went out and forged partnerships and relationships with some of the top change-making K-12 organizations in the country and said to them, we're looking for students that are deeply motivated, well-prepared, super talented to go to a school that is legendary for its academic rigor and its academic quality. Dan Porterfield has gone all over rural Pennsylvania with us and gone to high schools and said, f and doors are open and all university doors are open. I believe in you, you can do it too. You have to attack the myth that low-income kids cannot succeed in college, that it's noble but fundamentally climbing up a mountain to enroll more low-income kids and see them succeed. These kids have developed skills like grit and resilience that many of their peers will never be able to compete with. And when they get out in the world, those are the exact skills they will need to succeed, and they will succeed. Then we've not now got a couple years of results. A, we've been able to increase the percent of incoming students who are Pell eligible from 5% in 2008 to three consecutive years of 17% with that bigger aid budget. Of those enormous classes of Pell eligible students, 98% of our Pell kids have come back freshman year to sophomore year, 98%. Our Pell eligible students are earning the same grades, the GPAs are exactly the same as the school as a whole. take a village to address the kinds of challenges we face in providing students with access to opportunity. And if we do that well, we will of course prepare the country for continued competitive excellence in a knowledge-based global economy of tomorrow. We, we have to be successful, we have to be as a, as a community, as a country.